questions. Uh, very proud today of, of all the kids uh, played and battled, and, and so often we talk about you know it's it's never perfect, and you just got to keep playing. And I thought they did that and did it together. And uh, you know we also talk a lot about opportunity, and uh, we knew today was an opportunity, and the kids did a great job all week of preparing for it, and then. I was most proud to just go out and play, and uh, I think the game was one of those of opportunities. It was, you know, we we had the we turned the ball over, and a sudden change for a defense, and it was a big big stop right there. And um, thought so just played the interception where Soge got it, and the offense was able to capitalize. And we had a couple in the uh, you know the the first half we, we struggled. We had the holding on the, the pump, or the kickoff return, and we were three and out. And to get the ball to them on the 50, and, and you know, end up getting the big play. And Dakota and Sitch knocked it out, and, and Moose, you know, scoring. It was just one of those where guys just kept playing, and uh, it was a team effort. They appreciate that a ton for these kids. There's still room, a lot of room for growth, and uh, yeah, want to appreciate appreciate the day. Go ahead and take questions. Okay. Paul, you. Spoke a lot about how Alex never seems to get rattled by things. Was that another example today with the early promo and it just didn't seem to phase him? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, you know, I don't want to seem like he's not going to have feelings. He wasn't happy with himself, and, and yet, you know, what can you learn from it? And I thought that the one thing I thought we did a nice job protecting, and a lot of those, there's some key third down conversions, and, and too many of them were in long situations, but I thought guys did a great job of protecting and, and made some plays. I thought he made some throws to give guys a chance to make a play. Um, but he is, that's, he's consistent today. He was who he's been uh, since he's come here, and, and uh, you know, there'll be room for growth, certainly, but appreciate what he did. Uh, it was good to see. Oh, yeah. You lost your kicker, you had a new quarterback, you shuffled your offensive line again, but you could come in here and do something like this. What does that say? Yeah, I think it, it hats off to the kids for, for being able to take whatever situation is, and, and those are opportunities, an opportunity for, for Brett Connors, and you appreciate Michael Dieter sliding over from center to guard, and, and I think it's, uh, and what it says about the kids is they're unselfish, and they'll do uh, whatever they can to help this team. And, and you appreciate that. And I thought, you know, coaches did a really nice job of prepping the kids. And most of all, players, they bought into it. And they, we had a good work week preparation. And, and they trusted their preparation and played. That was fun to see. Yeah, Paul, well, you mentioned the pass protection. But can you take us through the, the thought process of, of moving Dieter to guard, Connors to center, how early that's done? I'm assuming they worked on that all week. Oh, yeah. You know, and, um, you know, Brett's, Brett's given us a chance. He's the one that's, you know, in spring ball, he played all five positions. And, and uh, we just thought for us to match up with Michigan State's defense, that it would help us with Michael at the, at the guard spot. And, uh, and appreciate, you know, Micah Papoy has been doing a ton of stuff, and he's, he's been playing injured. And, and I thought Rudy did a nice job, and, and most of all the kids. They owned it and uh, did a great job in, in the preparation and, and trusted it and were able to play today. Next. Well, okay. your defense uh, not giving up a touchdown, getting the four turnovers, is that you know about as a complete defensive performance you've had in your time here? Well, I've been lucky. You know, been around uh, some really good defenses, and yet today it was it was big, and uh, I thought again it was a, it was a good plan by our defensive coaches because our kids understood it and they were able to execute it and they were opportunistic. You know, when some things, uh, you know, opportunities presented themselves with the turnovers, they were able to capitalize on it. And so I think it was, obviously it's a, we think it's a really good Michigan State team and, and a good offense and respect their running game. The guys were, they were doing their assignments and they were, they were finishing and, and uh, that gave us certainly a chance. Over on the right. Coach, can you talk a little bit about your blocking schemes and your, your philosophy on taking Malik McDowell out of the game? I mean, he didn't obviously line up at nose tackle all the time, but you always seem to have an extra guy on him. You have somebody chip him off. Just talk about what you worked on all week 
to make sure that he wasn't a dominant presence in this game today? Well, I think that you know he is a, he's a heck of a football player, and, and we knew that. And, and yet, you always are a little bit nervous to over concentrate too much on one guy because we feel like they've got a lot of guys that can hurt you. And I think you know our players rose up, they competed, and rose up to the to the challenge, and and. Other guys were smart when we had chances to get some help. Um, we were able to do that, it looked like. And so uh, I don't think it was, you know, it was, it was something that we just knew that we to give us a chance we had to do. And uh, not just him, though. You know, we had a lot of respect for their defense. And, and, but I thought kids, kids executed on a lot of that. And, and like I said, when there were opportunities to help, we were able to help it. And, and we knew we were going to see a lot of pressure and, and thought that really from the quarterbacks to the receivers to the linemen, backs, did a good job of handling for the most part. Back. Coach, you were seven for 11 at one point on third downs and the game was still in the balance and then two for two on fourth downs. With the young quarterback at the helm, what do you think was the key to your offense converting so many of those clutch downs? I think it, in the end it comes back to execution and you know, we were just talking about pass protection um, and then you gotta be able to throw it to the right spot and, Guys got to finish it in, in the run game. I, mean, I thought the run game we were we were inconsistent, but we had some big runs and and, and did a good job there. And, and you know, guys took advantage of the, the first drive we had. You know, we had a fourth fourth down and we were able to uh, get that. And we we're on the goal line and, and we were able to finish it. Was uh, yeah, it's just you know, there's no magic to this. It's if it goes well, it's because all eleven guys are executing and, and doing their part. And, you know, we would like to have seen us finish the game, you know, on offense, and, and we didn't do that. But really, I'm proud and of, of what this group did. They put themselves in the situation today to be able to go out and play, and I thought they, they played. It was certainly wasn't a perfect game, but uh, guys kept competing and did it together, and that was uh, that was fun to be a part of. Paul, for those of us who are not as familiar with Alex, can you tell us a little bit more about his personality and what? You've seen it out in the last year and a half or so. You know that he can come on a road and perform like this. Well, Alex is a, um, you know, got to know him. He's a consistent person, and uh, you know, I think he's a guy that uh, loves being a part of this team and, and is a tremendous worker. And, and I think that he's got a skill set that's that's pretty good. And uh, but the thing I love about him is, is he's a consistent and he, he works. And, uh, He'll continue to, to grow because of that. Jack, yeah. I don't know if we touched on special teams much, but you got the big, the muck punt, you guys took advantage of them, and your punter, I think, had a pretty decent day in terms of field position. Did, it, did you get done what you had hoped to in that phase today? Yeah, I thought that the special teams were big. I thought even the ones that we had to cover, you know, it was the first kickoff of the game, you know, um, we had a lot of guys doing what they should do, and uh, that was big. And, and I thought that, like you said, the flipping of the field position, that was, uh, you know, we had a number of them. We were able to get it inside the, you know, inside the 10, I believe. And, you know, and Chris did a good job. We had a bl the block called when they muffed the punch. So we at least, you know, we had guys there. And um, I think, again, it's a group that they're going to try to do their part. And, uh, and we've got some that's got starters, some of them aren't starters. But I know a couple, Zach Vaughn did a really nice job on one, and, and uh, guys are flying down and, and, and playing, and that's what you appreciate. But that's special teams is a big part of today. We have time for two more, I believe. Paul? Hey, hey, hey. We kept uh, hearing throughout the offseason all these reasons why you guys weren't supposed to be as good this year. Are you surprised it's what happened, it's what happened so far, and why are you as good as you are? I think that you know the thing that I've appreciated from this group and what we talked about from the get-go was to to take each day and, and maximize the day, and uh, and in the season, take each game and maximize that. And I think they're doing a good job of of being in the moment. And uh, I think it's a group that they like playing football, and they like each other, and they want to get better. And so as a coach, you're really thankful of that. And um, I think they do. I mean, it was, it was, a, it was a fun locker room to come into today. Because and, and, they know what they did to give them this, this chance today, but you still got to go out and, and get to play the game. I think this group likes playing, and they like playing together. And yet, 
you know, we come back tomorrow and, and if we can be consistent in our approach, I think that's how we can maximize our development, our growth, and our enjoyment. You want them, they spend a ton of time doing what they're doing. You want them to enjoy it and have fun, and, and, and that's enjoying, certainly Saturdays are, are what you point for, but you want them to enjoy Monday, you want them to enjoy Tuesday, and I think that, you know, right down the line, that this group's been doing it, and we gotta keep doing it. And uh, there's areas where we can get better, and we gotta focus on that, but, um, and they will, and that's where as a coach you really think. Last one, Coach, obviously not a lot went wrong today, but I think you had three unsportsmanlike penalties. What are your, kind of your thoughts on that, and what do, you, what do you tell those guys that committed those penalties? Well, I mean, those are all areas where we can get better in, in how we, you know, we got to learn from everyone, and, and we don't want those to happen. And, and those who, you know, the first one I gave them a, a first down, I think it was going to be a third and four. Uh, the other one was on the change of possession after a pick, and, and so we're backed up. And, and so those are all things that, that we'll continue to learn from, grow from, and, and, uh, and we can get better. And, and that's one area, but there's a lot of areas we can get better. And, and yet, one, we appreciate what they've done. Every one of them did for the group and, and to enjoy this one, and then tomorrow come back and, and uh, keep working to get better. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.